and do you have any idea what you're making for dinner over the holidays? We can help you with that. Executive Chef Michael Shannon is back from the Montgomery Grill in Portsmouth. We're making beef wellington with mushroom duck cells and a red wine demi-glaze. What's a mushroom? What did I just say? Duck cell. It's just duck it's, cell. it's a great alternative to the whole pate. Yes. Um, you know what? Recently we showed folks how to make it with the pate, but if you're not a pate person... This is an alternative. It is. Okay. It's a wild mushroom blend, mm -hmm. shiitake, oyster mushrooms, creminis, mm -hmm. whatever you can find to, you know, make it make the filler. All right. So you can go with your preference in terms of mushrooms. It doesn't have to be any particular thing anything. for this. All right. So whatever you like, you're going with the mix here. And I know those oyster mushrooms, uh, there's a farm not too far away, right? Correct. That grows those and supplies them so it's all fresh and local. We like that. So what's the first thing that we need to do? We're going to saute off. Put a little butter. butter in there. And I always add a little olive oil. Now, how can you do that? The smoke factor and burn factor in the oil and butter, it reduces it. Okay. So you can cook it a little higher temperature and faster. Okay, so which one which one would, would be in trouble without the other? Is it the butter that the butter would burn down? faster. Okay, all right. So this oil slows it down. That's a good tip. And with that, we'll add a little, little garlic. Is it a little healthier? Do you end up using a little bit less butter you by did. putting some oil in there? Okay. And the garlic. Smithfield ham. Mm -hmm. I think that's the prize today, too. We're giving away Smithfield ham for our weather pop quiz, which, you know, it's a little ironic that we've got our friends from PETA here today, and it's like meat madness in the kitchen of the prizes, but it's good because then if it's too much meat for you, they've got some great ideas on some alternatives. And some of the things that you can use, you can probably prepare the same way, you know, tofu with the garlic, and it's all in the flavoring. Is it all in the flavoring? Give me a little support over there. Okay, they're nodding their heads. All right, back to, back to the beef, for now anyway. When you're using a Smithfield ham, I would not put any salt in. I would just go straight pepper. Okay. You can always, you know, a lot of chefs have, have advised us, you know, you can always add salt, but it's awfully hard to get it out if you've done too much. So I can see that with the ham, you wouldn't want to add too much more. Now, is this a meal that you can do some of this prep ahead of time? Strongly recommended. Oh, really? Okay. Now, why is that? It's a lot of steps involved, but it's a very simple dish. Yeah. I mean, you see it on TV with Gordon Ramsay and what, and what have you. It's, he, right. he makes it look so hard. Right. It's but not it's that not? difficult. Oh, my gosh. What is Gordon doing? Trying to intimidate everybody, as usual. But you wouldn't lose anything in terms of flavor if, say, you did this the day it before. It would get better. It would get better. Okay. What are you putting in there now? A little Madeira wine. Okay. <laughs> a little fire. That was supposed to happen. Right? That was supposed to happen, right? Okay, that. good. When you put alcohol in, you will get the flame. I know. Basic chemistry. Just making sure. You let it reduce for a few minutes. And, and that's, 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 that's pretty much it. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll start putting the whole thing together. But now you know how to make the, what's it called again? The mushroom? Mushroom duck cell. Duck cell. And so do I. All right. Meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler has followed his nose into the studio once again. All right, we're back in the Hampton Roadshow Kitchen with Executive Chef Michael Shannon. He's in from the Montgomery Grill from just around the corner in Portsmouth. If folks haven't found the restaurant yet, right there on High Street. 725 High. How's it going? Very busy. Good. Uh, holiday, holiday parties. That's what we want to hear. Um, we're making today Beef Wellington with mushroom duck cells and a red wine demi-glaze. And you kind of got started on the demi-glaze, but you said that you will you will back up for uh, course because sure. we missed it. You you did it while we were talking about weather and Kwanzaa. And it's, it's very simple. It's just you know beef stock, red wine, reduce it, and you can add a little cornstarch to make it thicker. Believe it or not, some folks out there may not know what exactly you mean when you say reduce it. It's a technique. So, I mean, do you, you when you put the stock and the wine in, do you, do you ever get it to a high temperature? You or boil it and let it boil for 10, 15 minutes. Okay. And you'll, you'll see the actual level reducing down. Okay. Like it's evaporating. So it's exactly what it sounds like. All righty. Smells wonderful. Our mushrooms, uh, we did that in the first segment. They're fine to just kind of stay on a low heat yes. while we get our Wellington prepared. All right. You, you take your filet mignon. Mm -hmm. You want to pre-grill it first. Okay. Or, 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 or you can braise it, however you want to cook it. Cook it to a temperature about a degree less than what you normally eat it. Okay. So if you're eating it medium rare, cook it to a rare. Okay. That because it's going to go back in the oven for a little while. You don't want it to overcook. It's going to cook a little more. Gotcha. Once you have it to where you want it, cut it about halfway through. 
to form a pocket. Okay. Oh, okay. See, this is something different, too. Instead of putting everything on top, you can actually stuff it. You put the, your stuffing inside. Mm-hmm. Close, close it back. Up. And put it on your puff pastry. Mm-hmm. And do four corner wraps. Mm-hmm. Now, what could you use besides puff pastry if you wanted? Or is that really the That's best really thing? That's really the best thing to do. Okay. Kind of round it off in your hands a little bit. And then put it onto your baking sheet. Okay. Um, and you've greased that sheet. A little bit of a little bit, bit, bit butter. Okay. A little bit of butter. Okay. Once you have it onto your sheet, you want to brush it with a little egg wash. And that's just a little egg and water. Egg and water. Milk? Okay. Can you use milk or should you use uh, I would water? just use straight water because okay. the, the milk will burn okay. and brown faster. There you go. And once you have that, you can finish all four steps. Okay. And going through it. Okay. Can I wash my hands and try one? Absolutely. Our producer is begging for me to try one. She's also upset with you because you said something disparaging about Gordon Ramsay. Or maybe I did. I don't know. His name came up. She loves him. Maybe I'm the one who did that. I'm sorry, Virginia. <laughs> okay. It's already pre-cut for you. Oh, that's no fun. Magic of TV. Mm-hmm. You can go ahead. Okay. I'm still going to have difficulty. All right, so you just slice it. I'm just going to slice a little more. Just a little more because it's not opening very easily. All right. Oh, this is for this. All right. Hey, Antonio, I hear you. People at home can't hear you, but I hear you giving me a hard time. Mm, see, I hope. I know, but I, I, I still don't want to use my hands, even though I know people wash them. Just because, you know. Just because. Because it's more fun this way. Right? How's that? A little spillover. That's okay. Mm, all right, I have to use a little bit now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for the big one. You said a four, four corners here. And then that. No holes. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, you can pull and tug. It's fine. Really? A little stretch. Oh, yeah. It sure will. Look at that. It's like gum. Not really, but there you go. I'm going to pinch it. Oh, now all of a sudden the same, the very same person who said, Carrie, you do one, is now saying, please stop it. Okay. All right, we'll put the egg wash on that one, and fine. We'll move along over to Cheryl and our next guest. Yeah, we both said did she that. did a good job, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Give you both a two thumbs up. The Beef Wellington is out of the oven. That sounds like a spy code, doesn't it? It is. The Beef Wellington is out of the oven. It is beautiful. It's what we're making today with Executive Chef Michael Shannon. He's joining us from Montgomery Grill at a, on a High Street in Portsmouth, and I don't know what, what I was looking at while you were making two side dishes that go with this. So tell us what you've been making. What have you been up to over here? Just some look of spinach and our famous mashed potatoes, white what, cheddar mash. I was going to say, there's not just spinach in there. What else is in there? Uh, I took the same pan that we used for the, for the mushroom duck shell uh -huh. and just wilted spinach in that, give it more flavor. Okay. All right. So that's for the wilted spinach. But then what else is in? Did you, did you leave a little skin on? I'm, I, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of... That's one of, our, that's one of our secret recipes. A lot of color and texture in there. We'll leave it at that. All right. Well, we'll taste it. Maybe see if we can figure out what's in there. Otherwise, Michael wants you to let him make it for you at the restaurant. Look at those. How do you know when these are done? Because you said that you had, you kind of pre-cooked the meat for one step away from how you like it. If you like it medium rare, put it in there when it's rare, right. et cetera, et cetera. So then how do you know when it's finished? When your pastry is nice golden brown. Okay. That's a good... All right. And remember, Michael said, when you make your egg wash, don't use egg and milk because the milk will brown. It'll cause it to brown faster, and then it might give you kind of like a false sense of it being done when it's maybe it's not done. How's that for an explain? Is that good? It's a great explanation. Okie doke. Want me to meet you halfway with the plates? or? What we're going to do is take it off the, off the pan. Okay. I'm going to cut it right in half. No. Okay. Oh, because you want to see because it's pretty. Right. Okay. You ready for the plate now? I come to you. It's fine. Who wants to dance right now? Okay. You really, really don't want me to help you with those plates. It's all right. So you mentioned that a lot of parties are going on at Montgomery Grill. Do you still have, uh, do you have something going on special for New Year's Eve, special menu, or is that all booked We up? are going to try to do a dinner for two for oh. a, you know, a couple's night out. Right. So could you order something like this? The sexual one thing we're, we're featuring. Okay. This and lobster tails. Oh, wow. All right. And then goes the red wine. Red wine, demi -glaze. demi glaze. I can smell it. It's good. What kind of wine did you put in there? Just any kind of, you know, Cabernet or Merlot. Okay. Any kind of thing around. Okay. 
Wow. And you finish it off with a little bit of, the, of your extra ham you had from your duck style. Mm-hmm. There you have it. All right. That sounds like it could be like a fantastic last uh, last meat meal before you go vegetarian. Right, guys? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's get over to Jeremy and Cheryl.